One time Republican presidential candidate Herman Cain has died due to complications from coronavirus. He died at the age of 74. He was hospitalized earlier this month after he contracted the virus. And although it is not confirmed when or where he contracted the virus, it is worth mentioning that he did attend Donald Trump's Tulsa, Oklahoma rally, was not wearing a mask and was surrounded by other individuals who were not wearing a mask. Now, as a coach, Chair of Black Voices for Trump. Kane was one of the surrogates at President Donald Trump's June 20th rally in Tulsa, Oklahoma, which saw at least eight Trump advanced team staffers in attendance test positive for coronavirus. Herman Kane also tweeted a photo of himself and others at the event. And he said, here's just a few of the Black Voices for Trump at tonight's rally, having a fantastic time. And none of them are wearing masks. Now, on Fox News, there was a conversation, I believe, that was trying to make it seem as though the Tulsa rally had nothing to do with Herman Cain getting sick. But let's take a look at what the argument is, and I'll fill you in on what the reality is. John Roberts, if you could stand by at the White House for us. Yeah, Sandra, if there's one, just one other thing I could point out. At that Tulsa rally, everybody who was going to get close to the president, and that would have included Herman Cain, mm -hmm. and because I went through it myself, were tested for coronavirus mm -hmm. disease. They had a couple of tents that were set up outside of the the center there in Tulsa, yeah. and he would have tested negative at that point. Otherwise, he would not have been allowed into the rally. So something happened between Tulsa and the 20. 29th, uh, where he contracted the virus. Not to say he got it at the rally. Yes. There were some staffers uh, who showed uh, positive, some uh, Secret Service who showed positive, mm -hmm. uh, both prior to the rally actually beginning and in the aftermath. Not to say that happened to Herman Cain, but it's likely that he would have been negative for coronavirus on that day because he would have been tested. Would have been tested. How are people not insulted watching that segment? He's insulting the intelligence of every single person who's watching that segment. Oh, he was tested for coronavirus right before the event. Um, but you know, uh, he's trying to make it seem like the event had not. Yeah, he could have contracted it at the event. It doesn't matter if he tested negative right before the event. He was at this event where people were not forced to socially distance. Uh, apparently, Masks were given out to individuals who were wanted them, who were willing to wear them. But there were many people at that event who were not wearing masks. It was not mandatory, which is a huge problem because Donald Trump wanted the crowd to be full and he wanted to, you know, avoid any imagery that could remind people of what a complete and utter failure he is. And he believes that people wearing masks is a poor reflection on him. It makes him look bad. He said so during an interview with the Wall Street Journal. So look, this is a tragic story. And although I disagree with Herman Cain, disagreed with Herman Cain on pretty much every political issue imaginable. I don't wish this to happen to anyone. It, you know, he had a wife, he had children, and you know, the pain of losing someone you love is is horrible. And I, I don't wish it upon anyone. But this should be an opportunity for people to understand that the Donald, like Donald Trump's administration, does not value people's lives at all. And they are lying to people and misinforming people purposely. And I mean, untold numbers of people are gonna get sick, people are gonna die. We already have 152,000 people in America who have died from this virus. This is serious, please wear a mask. Yeah, remember when they were saying, oh, only 3,000 3, people, it's like the flu. Um, this is what I wanna say, a couple of things. What do we know about coronavirus? Everything and nothing all at the same time. The, the virus is always mutating, the information continues to change. The one thing that they keep telling us is to protect ourselves because they don't know all of the variables, right? And so as a result, a lot of people have died because they take for granted that they shouldn't do, that they should do these things and here we are with another loss of life. But what I will tell you about coronavirus from my own personal experience, which I've had about eight family members who've had it, one who was on a ventilator and almost died, is that whether they test you, uh, you can be exposed to coronavirus and not develop symptoms from two to 10 days, right? So it, whether they tested him at that day and he didn't have it, I mean, first of all, that doesn't mean he couldn't get it at the rally, which is what you said. 
But the other thing is that there were people there who did test positive that he was exposed to because it was national headline news that six staffers at that time that I read the article had tested positive for COVID. So it's not like COVID was not present at the rally because six people tested positive on the day of the rally who were part of the administration. So if he was exposed to those people, then he could very well contract COVID from them and not develop symptoms until later because that is what science says. I don't care about where coronavirus started. I don't care about all who's politicizing it. I don't care about who stands to get money from the vaccine. If we all have a mistrust for this government and this administration, then we should be diligent over our own, vigilant over our own lives and protect ourselves at all costs because we cannot trust these people and we don't have all of the information. So why would you risk your life because of a conspiracy theory or some foolishness that somebody, Donald Trump gets tested every day. He is not around the general public. He is not going to a hospital if he gets sick. He's gonna have the best doctors. He flies in a private plane. He does not take Ubers and he doesn't order Postmates. So why are you trying to compare yourself with a person who lives the utmost privileged life? And that is why I don't understand why average people who wanna identify with Donald Trump risk their lives daily and then end up in the news a joke dead because they followed the instructions of somebody who is receiving the ultimate protections against the coronavirus. The last thing I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna keep it quick, is that a dog died of coronavirus today and trended over Herman Cain. So what I wanted Jeez. to say to people of color who are part of the, who are devoutly part of this freaking, uh, I don't even, we don't even know what to call them anymore, right? You are a part of this. And these people don't even value your life enough to send you the respect. Why isn't Herman Cain trending? He's a conservative, he belongs to the MAGA cult. Why is he not trending number one? Because he's a black man and they don't care about him. He is no longer of use to them. So what I wanna say with respect to Herman Cain is rest in peace. I send love and light to his family. Just because somebody and I, some people and I don't agree um, doesn't mean that their lives didn't matter. And right now, if we're gonna say black lives matter, then Herman Cain's life mattered too. Shame on the MAGA cult. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.